Hi, so we're taking a look at, at a limit problem where we know the limit, but what we're really interested in finding out is what's going to happen as um, we want the function to be within a point, say in this case, a 0 0.01 what we call error tolerance of the outputs. So we're looking for what inputs guarantee me to be within 0 0.01 of the answer to for the function. So we know that the limit as x approaches 1 of this function 4 plus x minus 3x squared is equal to 2. That's easy to verify. Uh, what we're looking for in this problem is we're allowing it to be, have a certain error. So this epsilon value being 0 0.01, we call that our error for the function. So error and function values. We're Think of it in terms of an application that the function's output are going to be allowed to go from, in this case, uh, 1.99 to 2.01. So we're letting the function stay within this interval. And what we're trying to find is what inputs guarantee me that this inequality is going to hold true. So graphically, we can solve this with using a kind of numeric approach. We just kind of need to set up our picture to realize where the solutions are going to be pulled out. So here's my function, the 4 plus x minus 3x squared. Now at x equals to 1, we know that the function has an output of 2. So when x equals to 1, if we come up here, we have an output of 2. What we're looking for are for what range of inputs allow the output of the function to stay between 1.99 and 2.01. So we're going to kind of zoom in here. Say this is 2.01 and this is 1.99. And I'm going to extend a horizontal line out in both directions. I'm looking for the range of x values that stays within this, um, these two horizontal lines for the output. So this intersection and this intersection, what are those corresponding x values? Through the uh, use of like a graphing calculator or some other online tool, we can find the intersection of these lines. So in this case, we have a line y equals to 2.01, and this line y equals to 1.99, with the intersection of this function. We find that the intersection occurs when x equals to, and just kind of rounding it to three decimal places here, 0.998, we have an output of 2.01 for the function. This intersection occurs at 1.002, and again, that gives me an output for the function of 1.99. So as long as I let my x values go from 0.998 to 1.002, I'm guaranteed the outputs of the function will be within that 0 0.01 value as we wanted. So that's where we find this number delta. Now both of these numbers, so if I look at this distance and this distance, both of these equal to the same range as far as how far away from 1 we are for that interval. They're within 0 0.002 of 1 to the right and 0 0.002 to the left. So that makes our choice for delta to be relatively easy since we extend in both directions 0 0.002 units. So we're going to choose delta to be 0 0.002 to answer this question. So whenever I take an x value minus 1, as long as that's within 0 0.002, so choosing delta to be 0 0.002, this is guaranteed to be true.